Hey everyone, this is Steve Wise with Pragmatic Works back with another Azure Everyday video. And in this video, I want to demonstrate how you can bring your own Power BI report into the embedded playground. Now, if you're not familiar with this embedded playground, Microsoft provides it as a way for developers to explore the full suite of abilities and capabilities when using an embedded solution. Uh, and in this case, they provide a number of sample reports. You can open a specific report. This is going to show embedding the entire report. The connection information is already populated and simply by hitting run, it'll pull that report into this space. Uh, and beyond that, there's also a number of pre-populated code snippets here. Let's say I want to set the slicer state uh, that I can pull up. And this code I can't interact with. I can't edit it or delete it. I can only copy it out. But when I run it, you can see that it's hard coded to essentially filter this date right here. So when I run that code, we'll see that a new date range has been populated in that embedded post and the visuals change accordingly. And this works really great if you don't want to spend a lot of time building out the coding solution and you just want to explore some of the major functionality with an embedded solution. But let's say at the other end, you want to bring your own report into the space. Maybe you're just curious, you want to test the connection info, you just kind of want to get a sense of how this is going to work. So to do and bring in your own report, we need to change from the embed token to an Azure Active Directory token. And over here in the other tab, I have uh, in the Power BI service, I've opened up one of my reports. And the, to get the embed token from this, there is a way to do it in PowerShell, but a real quick and easy way to do this in Chrome is to just right click and view the page source. And here in the page source, you'll see this very, very, very long string is the embed token for this particular session. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it right here. Now the embed URL, same thing in Power BI service. I'm going to come to the top bar and select embed website or portal, and it's going to bring up a fairly long URL that you can use for that. For the case of this embedded playground, though, we don't need this entire URL. In fact, we just need this little piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that snippet just basically ending after the report GUID. You'll see an ampersand here, so everything to the left of that. And I'm going to come back over here and paste it into this space. Uh, and good to just check that it pasted correctly here. It did. The last piece we need is the report ID. That's in this URL. So we're going to grab it right here and paste it again below. That's it. Now, when we hit run, you're actually going to see it bring in our report from Power BI Service, this is the same live report and I can interact with it just like I would if this were an embedded solution. Now it's important to point out here that a lot of these interactions that are available for the sample reports are available for your custom report, but many of them may not work because this is hard coded. So there's no date slicer on this. We can't change any of this information. So some of these things may not work for your specific report, but some will. For example, if I just wanted to run the script to make this a full screen visual, I could run that here. It now makes it full screen uh, and I'm going to exit back out. So some of these things, general interactions will work, but it's a great, great way of demonstrating how you can connect to your own report in the service, show that capability and see maybe what some of that code would look like. And to make this work in your own custom solution, it just takes a little bit of editing around the existing code and then you can take this and, and try to work on it within your own. But this is just a quick demonstration of how to overcome the little bit of a hurdle. And I've run into this too, with just how to get your own information in here. So I hope you appreciated this quick look at bringing your own report into the embedded playground. And I hope you'll join me again with another Azure Every Day. Thank you.